let us see what is inside the actions folder so inside the actions folder i have two files one is called base screen action and the other one is login actions let me open base screen actions this file will help us to initialize the driver uh, and it doesn't do anything else it will just help us to initialize the driver and uh, the login actions file is where we will write uh, methods to group uh, different steps into a method for example if you take the login flow first the user clicks on login button and then choose continue with WordPress then he will click on the email field and input his email and then click on next and he will choose enter your password option provides his password and finally clicks on done button to enter into the uh, website or the block settings page so we can group all these steps different steps into a single method let us see how to do that before that when when you come to the page folder uh, i have told you that i have different page files for each screen on the app so uh, we have a sign up wall and then you can see that i have given this page has two buttons one is the login button and the other one is sign up for wordpress.com for the case of this tutorial i'm just considering the login button so you can see a corresponding locator login button and the uh, locator values what you have to ensure is uh, keep the page file as simple as possible uh, let me show you the email form page i have the email form page and this page has only uh, two locators which we use which is the email field input field and the other one is the next button you can see in the page file i have email input and the corresponding accessibility and value and similarly the done buttons accessibility id and the value so uh, keep the page file as simple as possible include only locators which are available on this page uh, we can also add entering your site address locator into this page but you should never add the login button locator into the email form page so yeah again keep the page file as simple as possible now let us go to the login actions and write a simple method to group all these steps into a single method so i'm going to name my method login steps and this method will take a username or uh, we can tell the email uh, text and the password so the first step we do is click on the login button right so to do that what uh, i'm i'm doing is i have you can see that i've already imported all the page file into the actions uh, for instance i have the sign up wall imported here so i'm going to use self dot sign up wall and then inside the sign up wall i have a method which is click on login button i'm going to call this method here that's all and the second step is we are going to click on the continue with wordpress.com uh, link and uh, you if you can remember this option is only specific to ios so inside the sign up wall i have uh, added a condition which says if platform is ios only then do the click action 
so now let us add that step to this method uh, to show it and then see in a similar way let me complete all the script the script is successfully completed um, you can notice that first we click on login button and then choose the option which is continue with wordpress.com input email click on done button and then we enter we choose the enter password option and then input password click done button and finally uh, we tap on the last done button which is shown on site selection page um, uh, so we, we did a small mistake on sign up and the email form wherein uh, I say send keys and then I'm again doing a send keys in the end which is not required and removing these two from the page files.